Welcome to Light Story, where stories come to life. Chapter 1 In a small coastal town in the Philippines, nestled between lush green hills and the sparkling blue sea, lived a boy named Jevin and his older sister Kemberlin. Jevin, at 13, had an insatiable taste for adventure. He could never sit still, always exploring the hidden corners of their town, searching for the next thrill. Whether it was climbing the tallest trees or diving into the deepest parts of the ocean, Jevin was always on the move. His wild imagination transformed everyday moments into grand quests. Kenverlin, on the other hand, was fifteen and more grounded. She had long grown out of her childhood fantasies and now craved peace, solitude, and a life far from Jevin's boundless energy. Unlike her brother, she preferred spending her time with a good book under the shade of the old mango tree in their backyard or practicing her sketches by the quiet stream that flowed nearby. One humid afternoon, Jevin burst into their shared room, his eyes shining with excitement. Ken, you have to come with me. I found something amazing. Kenverlin, who was lying on her bed reading a novel, sighed. She loved her brother, but his constant need for adventure wore her out. Jevin, can't you just leave me alone for once? I'm trying to relax. But Ken, this is different. There's a cave by the beach that I've never seen before. It might be full of treasure or hidden secrets. Jevin's voice was pleading, and despite her best efforts, Kenverlin felt a twinge of curiosity. Just because you found a hole in the ground doesn't mean it's some secret cave, Kenverlin replied, trying to stay firm. Jevin, sensing her hesitation, knew just how to push her buttons. Or maybe you're too scared to come with me. I'll just explore it on my own then. He turned to leave, pretending to be nonchalant. Kenverlin rolled her eyes. Fine, I'll come with you, but just this once. And if it turns out to be nothing, you have to promise to leave me alone for the rest of the day. Jevin grinned triumphantly. Deal. The siblings set off toward the beach, the sun starting its slow descent toward the horizon. The golden light bathed the landscape, casting long shadows behind them. As they walked, Jevin chattered nonstop about all the amazing things they might find, hidden pirate loot, ancient relics, or even a secret passage to another world. Kimberlin remained skeptical, but allowed herself to be carried along by his enthusiasm. When they reached the beach, Jevin led her to a secluded spot where the waves gently lapped against the shore. Tucked away between two large boulders was a narrow entrance, almost invisible unless you were looking for it. See? I told you. Jevin said, his voice full of pride. Without waiting for her to respond, he squeezed through the entrance and disappeared into the darkness. Kimberlin hesitated for a moment. As much as she found Jevin annoying, the thought of him getting hurt in the cave alone worried her. She sighed and followed him inside. The cave was much larger than she had expected. Cool air wafted around them, a stark contrast to the humid heat outside. Jevin was already ahead, his voice echoing off the stone walls as he marveled at the strange rock formations. As they ventured deeper, the light from the entrance dimmed until they were surrounded by darkness, except for the faint glow of bioluminescent fungi clinging to the walls. The cave felt like a world of its own, untouched and mysterious. Kimberlin couldn't help but feel a thrill of excitement herself. Maybe Jevin wasn't entirely wrong about this place. Just as she was beginning to relax, she heard a loud splash from up ahead. Jevin, she called out, her voice tinged with concern. I'm okay. Jevin shouted back, though his voice was shaky. I just slipped into some water. It's deeper in here than I thought. Kimberlin rushed forward, finding Jevin standing waist-deep in an underground pool. The water was clear, reflecting the glowing fungi above, giving the whole chamber an otherworldly glow. She couldn't help but smile. Maybe this little adventure wasn't so bad after all. See? I told you this was worth it, Jevin said, beaming up at her. Kimberlin rolled her eyes, but smiled back. Yeah, yeah, but don't get used to it. I'm not doing this again anytime soon. Jevin laughed. We'll see about that. As they made their way back out of the cave, the sun had set, and the first stars were appearing in the sky. 
The adventure had been fun, even for Kenverlin, though she would never admit it to Jevin. She realized that while her brother could be a handful, his adventurous spirit made life a little more interesting. And though she would still seek her peace and quiet, Kenverlin knew that every now and then, a little adventure with Jevin wasn't so bad. After all, it was these moments they would remember when they were older, the times they explored the unknown together, even if it was just in their small corner of the world. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.